I've turned the corner at Williamstown. The first person I saw was my mother. She was only dressed in her nighty, and I thought to myself, how good is this? I must have won the Brownlow. Well, at times, it appears that that was the only thing I ever did. You don't play to win Brownlows, but when you do, it's just sensational. You can't win a Brownlow by yourself. At St Kilda, I was very fortunate to have a great group of teammates and a very supportive coach. They shared my Brownlow. I get teased about wearing the Brownlow medal, but really, I'm so proud of it. I was lucky enough to win quite a few awards that year, but nothing beats the medal. Everywhere you go, every function you go to, you're a Brownlow medalist. As you watch football as a kid, you, you see someone named the Brownlow medalist, and to be up there with those guys is just fantastic. Some people were surprised that Greg Williams and I won the Brownlow. Well, it is for the best and fairest. Greg was certainly the best, and me, well, the first. In the count, I was in front all night, but I missed the last three or four games. I didn't give myself a chance. The Brownlow for me was about family. You know, my parents flew out from Ireland and my dad was there and it's just a moment I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Well, I'm honest, I'm not. <laughs> You're allowed to say it. Yeah, allowed to say it. I sort of came here without the expectation. I mean, I'll tell you what, I've never had the worst three minutes of my entire life and then that last round. The last two years I've been extremely, extremely lucky the way the voting's gone and it's very lucky to have, have done it. Yeah, I'm bloody glad I won it. I can't believe I'm standing up here with Nathan Buckley and Marcus, you know. I'd recommend the feeling of any footballer. It's been a surprise and, and certainly very honoured and humbled by the award. Because um, without those teammates, this medal is much of theirs as it is mine. It's a fantastic achievement. I'm very grateful.